Two cats and a monkey. A long time ago, on the outskirts of a forest, there lived two rather tiresome and unpleasant best friends. That is cheating. Just because you lost. You're just a sore loser. That's it. It's time. The this part of the forest association of these 55 trees has decided that your constant bickering is not only disturbing, but it is also... You're a cheater! No, you're a cheater! A terrible, terrible example for the other kids of our neighborhood. Hence, don't say it. I am afraid that we must ask you to leave this neighborhood. You can't. We're sorry. This is not the first time we warned you, but... You just do not understand. So, we just can't let you be around here anymore. I so hate to do this to them. We have tried to advise them, but... Maybe going out into the world will teach them the value of friendship and unity. (sighs) So, the cats had to wander into a human village. Hey, kitties! Aw, you look hungry. Come, let me give you some milk. Hey, you're drinking way too fast. You'll drink my share, too. You're just making silly excuses so that you can drink all the milk on your own. Out of here. Hmm. Hmm. You seem to be very hungry. Very. Well, I know a place from where you can get food. Tell us, where? The monkey took the cats to a lonely go down on the outskirts of the village. I saw the keeper of this place make pancakes for himself this morning. Pancakes are delicious. There might be still a few left. Thank you. I just saw the keeper leave. The coast is clear. That is really good of you. Hey, if you know there are pancakes in there, Why didn't you get them yourself? First, rats. I hate rats. And second, we need someone to take the blame if the keeper comes back. But what if the cats finish the pancakes among themselves? Those bickering fools couldn't drink a bowl of milk among themselves. They'll never share a thing. Meanwhile, The cats had crept in the go-down and found that there was just one last pancake left. Put the pancake down. What is wrong with you? I carried it out with me, and it is bad enough that you took it and ran away with it. No, I didn't. You did. Is there a problem? He got the bigger piece. No, you did. Let me solve this for you. Hmm, this one is bigger. (gasps) Equalizing, oops. (sighs) You want the pieces to be equal or not? And under the pretext of making the two pieces equal, the monkey ate up the entire pancake, leaving one tiny morsel on the ground, and ran away. (laughs) Meow! You! That was my dinner! How dare you! Oh, I am hungry. I am so tired. Let me help you. You ran away from there. You ate the pancake, and you let the keeper blame us. It was a genuine mistake, 
But if you are so angry, then all right. I wanted to take you to a place where you could stay. But since you do not want to be friends, I shall go away. Stay? Wait. The monkey took the cats to a run-down place where he lived. This place is so dirty. I thought you might want to sweep. Why should I? Oh, I see. <sighs> what? Well, your friend told me that you are lazy and dirty. Fine, if you don't want to sweep then. He called me lazy and dirty? How dare he? I'll show him. What should we make the other cat do? Uh, I am getting very thirsty. Get your own water. You are exactly as your friend said, lazy and selfish. How dare he? I'll show him. Ha! The joys of ruling. Why work when you have slaves? In this way, the monkey kept manipulating the two cats. They were so busy competing with each other, believing the worst about each other, that they could not see how the monkey was using their fights against them fooling them to make slaves out of them. They were tired, weary, hungry, and miserable. Look at him. He's just lazy. And to think he called you so. <sighs> For the first time, the cats felt what it was like to work together. Thank you so much. It's okay. You haven't brought me the apples I wanted. Lazy, lazy. Both of them. So you told him I am lazy, and you told him I am dirty? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. The, the monkey, monkey is lying. Why would he lie? How about finding us some apples today? You're a monkey. Find an apple tree and get your apples. Well, I know your friend said you are too useless and dumb to find an apple tree. What? Don't worry, I'll go. I am not dumb. The cat had to spend the whole morning looking for apples in the forest. Finally, when he found a tree, ha, I am so hungry. <coughs> I hate apples. Then why are you gathering them? For the monkey? Why would you pick apples for a monkey? I, I don't know. I... I thought you must be tired. Thank you. Bring the apples. The monkey is waiting. When the cats were bringing the apples, they overheard. They are being kind to each other. Your rule is ending. If they realize you are using their competitiveness against them, they will walk away. The cats were shocked, and they finally realized how the monkey had tricked them. What a horrible, horrible fellow. Not more than us. This is our fault. <sighs> All our senseless, selfish fighting. I finally realized what the deer had said about someone taking advantage of our enmity. But not anymore. Never again. Well, if you are willing to change, then you are welcome in our neighborhood. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it was good while it lasted. And thus, finally, the cats realized that it was fun to cooperate and work and play like a team. It was silly and selfish to keep fighting. They changed, and they were never their old, unpleasant, selfish, fighting selves again. <laughs> <laughs>